Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Welcome to the one who seeks. Where you are the one who seeks. Alright, I have some new cards here. I just went through them um, on the unveiling. So if you'd like to see the images and what they say on each card, then go back and and look at the unveilings of the decks. Um, so this is my first time using three of these decks, and this is going to set the the intention, the question, um, uh, what our topic is, right? So the intention is always for your highest and best good for yourself and for others. Uh, only loving energies are allowed. Okay. So let's do the tea leaves. So normally I do like all my oracles and stuff at the end as confirmation, but we have these decks here, which I feel like are great for opening up the uh, conversation of the topic, right? So this one, okay. Those ones all want to come with me. And this one here as well. Okay. I should pre shuffle these. Um, some of these bigger decks are really hard to shuffle. Like we've got a few of them in there. Let's do another one. Okay. Yeah, these cards. It's a beautiful deck. Okay. All right. So this is a reading for the collective. This is what we'll be talking about. Okay. So let's see, we have basket, recognition, reward for merit. Let's see if I can get these all up on here. Rose, romances in the air. Hills, obstacles to overcome. We have September. We have flowers of happiness. Okay, we have rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Ooh, I'll find out who that is. Bowl, plenty of material things. January. And we have happiness. Okay, so you will be recognized for something and it's going to make you very happy. Um, there are some obstacles to overcome though. Um, this might come to fruition by September. We need to find out uh, about this person that you should um, not cross. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of abundance and happiness okay um something about january uh, this person seems very cold this is like a person with um 
who's been frozen over and it seems like they're a liar they have a big nose here like pinocchio um so we need to find out who this is but you are gonna have a lot of abundance and happiness okay we have a village all right it takes a village Um, Thanatos. I'm gonna have to read about that one. Let's see, what is that? Where's my book? This is the archetypes. Thanatos. Death. Okay, that's the death card. Um, facing Thanatos, death leads up to um, Athena, which is truth. There are those with a great gift for navigating Thanatos' energy. Thankfully, we find those generous souls in emergency rooms, hospitals, hospice centers, and the like. So this could be like a, a nurse. Uh, grieving, mourning, bearing witness to all that is fear or insensitivity to old age, illness, and dying. The Mower by Philip Larkin. It is tempting to oversimplify death and sum it up as transformation, but the true archetypal resonance of Theanos, Theantos cannot be easily assimilated or contained. Death is ongoing and omnipresent. An external response to the gift of birth, witnessing the end of another being, creature, phase, or stage as deep consciousness for the psyche. We are forever changed by Thanatos as it sweeps us under its wing, making us relinquish control in every form. It leaves a mark of ash upon our heart, signifying that we have torched the cusp of the underworld and we will return to the land of the living eventually. With more compassion and wisdom to share, this capacity is needed in our world. One who has faced the annihilation of Thanatos can face anything. When this card appears, it signifies an intuition into the underworld. Okay. The wire. All right strength to keep on going and the bridge that brings it all together Let me, let's see all right we have retrograde review the retro re retrogrades usually mean something that's like a planet is going backwards even it's not physically going backwards it's like going back in time fourth house home seventh house relationship okay and paulus athena think okay so there's definitely some love coming towards you um we have relationship here. We have the, the love here. We have happiness twice. Um, and then we have the death card, which is also a love card. In my opinion, um, the village could be your community, could be your family, the warrior to be um, the head of household, right? And the bridge that kind of brings it all together. Which I kind of feel like is this review. Maybe 
maybe not, you know, going backwards, right? You don't want to go backwards. You want to move forward. Um, obstacles to overcome. You have something that you need to think about. Right? So, um, okay, there's somebody that's kind of standing in your way here, though. This, I don't know if this is your lover or if this is somebody else who maybe is jealous of what you have. So, um, sometime between September and January, you will have this happiness. Right. So, um, the past represents ooh, events, influences, or feelings leading up to the present situation. The hermit. Okay. Um, so this is going inward, right? This is thinking. This is about thinking. Going inward. Spending some time alone to think about what it is that you want. Right? You want these material things, you want this happiness, you want this romance, but you have um, in recognition, right? Reward for your merit. You have a lot of wisdom here. So then somebody's going to recognize that. You'll be rewarded for that, for overcoming these obstacles. Okay? The present indicates your current thoughts, feelings, and actions regarding the matter. <laughs> Queen of Wands, you are excited, right? This is your present. You are excited about all the opportunities that are coming up. Regardless of this person that you need to watch out for, who's cold. Okay, you have... Um, your home and a relationship which are coming together right? so this is literally this mandala here from the window this is almost like the shadow of the window you're building a home and a relationship with somebody Okay, and this might happen by September, between September and January again. I feel like um, this would be happening in September. It's kind of in line here. Okay, the hidden influence points to hidden aspects of the question may have overlooked or not aware of. Ooh, the high priestess, which is insane. Because this is the hidden influence. She is all knowing. Okay. But she doesn't speak. So you're not aware of something that you're supposed to be thinking about, right? I feel like you're not aware of this person who is cold. And maybe is um, holding you back because we have the retrograde, which is moving backwards. Review, reflecting back on something and the advice may offer practical advice the justice card so you'll have justice in whatever the situation is with this cold person um, I feel like you have your eyes closed to whatever is going on with this arrogant boastful person that you shouldn't cross who is a liar right but you kind of can feel it. You have an intuition about it. And you've been thinking about it. And it is the obstacle that you need to overcome. Okay, you will have justice. You know, you have your eyes closed again here. But you have your eyes open. Her eyes are closed, but you can see that her eye is actually open as well. Right? Justice is two sides of the coin. Getting um, 
what you deserve or what somebody else deserves. The good and the bad, balancing it out. Okay, you have a lot of knowledge here. Maybe you're even um, in like the legal department. This has to do with somebody you're working with or you have a lawsuit that you've been dealing with. Right, and I feel like that's like a lawyer would be a liar, right? Um, somebody that you shouldn't cross. They're boastful. They feel like they're all knowing. They have a lot of power. Right, like the high priestess has a lot of power, but it's kind of untouchable. All right, and then the likely outcome suggests the probable outcome. Oh, the Ten of Cups. There's your love right there. Family and love. Right? You're building this home. Okay, but you're going to have uh, a lot of happiness. You're going to collaborate with your community. You're going through a transformation of death and coming back out as the warrior. We're not crossing this bridge anymore. The bridge has burnt. The bridge is burnt down. We're not going backwards. Okay, we're done thinking about things. We're taking action now. Okay, this is divine uh, timing. Even though we have September to January here, this is still divine timing. Okay, I see that you're you're really happy when you're you're in your own, right? You have your own happiness that you are creating and you're putting out into the world and you're sharing with others and you're getting justice from the wrongdoing of this person. Right? So let me see. Let's do the character oracle and find out who this this cold, arrogant, boastful person is. Right, I do feel like it's a lawyer having something to do with that justice. Um, but you have your inner knowing here. Spiritual seeker. Uh, devotee of the inner path. Meditation insight practice. Right, that is very much the high priestess right there. Okay, you are the spiritual seeker. Right. Um, maybe you have people in your community or your family who aren't supporting you with your spiritual practice. And um, you are going to have justice with this. They are going to open their eyes to it. They're going to review what it really means. And they're going to see the, the two sides of it, right? Instead of just a one side to it. Just, you know, maybe they're only looking at the negative. Making sure my cards are mostly in, in here. Um, okay, firemen. What did I say about burning bridges, right? Bravest, terrorism, heroism, sacrifice, rescue, extinguish. Right? So we're, we're getting over this death card here because this, bur this bridge has burned with this person. Whoever isn't believing in you and your higher power and your spirituality, you just need to remain brave. Right? And we have the warrior. This is about survival. Detective, investigator of truth, sleuth, clues, pursuer, truth unveiled, right? Again, this goes with the high priestess. 
right? The detective also goes with the justice card here, right? You have to seek out the truth. You know the truth already, but you're going to have the justice for it. And you're going to have the evidence. Drunkard, mm, alcoholism, addiction, avoidance, abuse. So I think this has to do with um, this cold person here. Right, they're arrogant, boastful. You should not cross them because they have an addiction of their own. They need to uh, figure out. And they're just going to try to burn you down and kill whatever dreams that you have because of their own issues, All right? But you're gonna come out really good here in the end. You're gonna have everything that you want, your, your love, your family, your community, your dreams, your friendships, your spirituality. I feel like, um, this cold person is really going to have something hit them pretty hard in order for this justice to come through because you're the warrior. You're going to overcome this. You have lots of love and happiness coming through. Okay, you're you're satisfied with yourself. You don't really need anybody else, right? Like if you go inward, here you're all you're alone in each of these, but here you ended up collaborating. You ended up coming together with the people that you love and your your tribe, your village. Right? And we're purging out these negative people to have your abundance. These are the lessons learned. These are um like the shadow side coming to light. All right, and you're gonna start getting recognized for it. So I think um, just really follow your intuition, feel it in your gut. Um, you know, keep your eyes open in a sense right they don't necessarily have to be really open but you are your eyes are open here where you have all your abundance and happiness and your wisdom right but this is about intuition looking at yourself right this could even be like your twin right 11 twin flames Maybe your twin flame has an addiction. Maybe they're um, heavily into drinking or some sort of substance abuse and it's causing turmoil. But because you are in your own here and you've done the healing work, you're going to have the justice. You know the truth, right? You have the inner insight. You are going to rescue yourself from this burning bridge and push through. This is a, a death and a rebirth of something. You're letting something go. You're letting this person go. Because they're holding you back. But you are, you're going to see a lot of light, love, and happiness. All right. Well, that is your reading with our new decks. Um, I thank you all for being here. If you uh, found this to be useful, please share, like, and subscribe. Help me out. Help out my channel. Um, share it with others that you find, you think might find this useful. And I will see you on the next reading. Bye.
I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.